Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley with Haley Stitches and today I'm gonna to show you how to wash a quilt. The quilt that I'm gonna be washing today is this basic patchwork quilt. I chose it because it has some really high contrasting fabrics like white and navy and I have never washed this quilt before. So I will show you all the steps so we can make sure that the navy doesn't bleed into the white fabric. Washing a quilt does not have to be as scary as we sometimes make it out to be, especially if you're using high quality quilting cotton. If you're using quilt shop quality cotton, there's really not anything you have to worry about. Most of these fabrics will not bleed. If you are using some more discount fabric or fabric that you're not really sure where it came from, you may wanna consider pre-washing your fabric so that you don't have to worry about this at the end, especially if you're gonna be using high contrast colors like white and red. There's only a couple of supplies we're gonna need for this process. So the first thing is going to be your finished quilt. And you wanna make sure that your quilt is completely finished before you give it a wash. That means you need to piece together your top, your batting, and your back, and make sure that the binding is attached properly. Next supply we're gonna need is laundry detergent. Now you definitely can use what you have on hand, but I like to use a detergent that's meant for a sensitive skin and one that doesn't have any dyes or fragrances. This is usually because if I wanna give a quilt as a gift, I wanna make sure that it doesn't have the scent that I like on it, and I wanna make sure it's really neutral for the person who's receiving it. And if it's dye-free, we don't have to worry about any of the dyes and the detergent accidentally staining our quilt. And lastly, this is probably the most important thing that you need to make sure that you get. These are called color catchers. So the brand that I'm using is Shout, but you can find these in all sorts of brands. What they are, are their dye trapping sheets. So these are made with the intention of picking up any dye that may bleed from different types of fabric. So let's say you're washing a load of white laundry and you get a red sock in it. It's gonna make sure that your entire load of laundry doesn't turn pink. So these are the most important thing that you can get if you want to wash your quilt and make sure that the fabric doesn't bleed. And lastly, of course, you're going to need a washing machine. So before we head to my laundry machine, we just wanna give our quilt one quick look through. We wanna make sure that all of the binding is properly attached. And if you've been using your quilt a lot already, you just wanna make sure that no seams are coming undone or no batting is accidentally pushing through. If there's any part of your quilt that you need to mend, I highly recommend doing that before you put it into the washing machine. Here's a nice close-up view of my patchwork quilt. So you can see there are the really deep navy colors in there and a lot of white. The backing is also white and I do have a little strip of navy fabric on the backing as well. So once we pull it out of our machine, we can make sure that none of this beautiful navy fabric has bled into our white. Now we're in my laundry room and I am loading my quilt into my washing machine. Remember to add your color catchers to your wash before you start the cycle. I used four color catchers for this quilt because it was so high contrast, but that's probably a bit on the high side. Next, I'm adding my laundry detergent. I'm using Free and Gentle by Tide, but there are many different brands that offer no dyes or fragrances. Let me know in the comments below if you have a favorite fragrance and dye-free detergent brand. Before I start my machine, I'm going to turn it on to the delicate cycle. After my quilt is all washed, I'm gonna give it a quick look to make sure that none of the dye in the fabric has bled. My quilt looks really good and you can see in the color catchers that hardly any dye bled at all. If you have fabric that likes to bleed, these color catchers will absorb the color that has run. Now I'm gonna load my quilt into my dryer and I'm gonna add a couple dryer sheets just to make things nice and soft and give it a good fresh smell. And then I'm going to adjust my dryer settings to low heat before I start the cycle. And now my quilt is completely dry and it has that really nice crinkle to it that you get after you wash a quilt. And all of the navy stayed in the navy and all of the white stayed bright white. So you can see how well those color catchers actually work. After I wash my quilts, I do like to give it one more look over to make sure that all the bindings stayed attached and all of the seams stayed closed. But if you're washing your quilt on the gentle cycle and tumbling dry, there really shouldn't be anything that happens that makes your quilt fall apart. I hope today's video put you more at ease for the next time that you wash a quilt. It's really not that scary. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos just like it, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all next time. Bye.